How about it, y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. Uh, this year, we've been doing some experimenting and growing our tomatoes. Uh, kind of staked up a bean pole, so I want to show y'all how we're doing that and how it's going. So y'all stick with us, and I hope you enjoy the video. Before we get started, uh, it is Memorial Day, so I'd like to remind everybody to be thinking of about all our soldiers and all the men and women that have sacrificed uh, for our great country. Um, and also, I want to put a little plug in there. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be doing a t-shirt giveaway here when we hit 500 subscribers. So we're closing in on that number. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, get us to 500. We'd greatly appreciate it. So like I said, we've been kind of experimenting, growing our, our tomato plants this year. And the reason for it is we didn't have enough tomato baskets and I wanted to plant a bunch of, of tomatoes this year. I didn't feel like going to buy those little cheap ones from the store that really don't work. They're not tall enough. And my, we, my granddad used to grow a lot of green beans and snap peas and stuff like that. And so I had an abundance of these old fiberglass poles left over and I kind of, I knew the, about the method of staking tomatoes. So I said, why can't I do it with bean poles? So I'm gonna set the camera up and I'm gonna show you how we do it and kind of talk to you why we use this method and the other meth methods that you can use to grow tomatoes. So there's several different methods of actually growing tomatoes that you can use. Uh, probably the most common one is in tomato baskets. And you can also, you know, suspend a rope from the ceiling, kind of train them to grow up it. Yeah, there's things called single stemming, which we're kind of doing here. And there's, you can grow them on poles. And also you can just let them go on the ground if you'd like. Uh, but like I said, we didn't have tomato baskets, uh, not enough to do this whole row. We've got 44 tomato plants here. I didn't have that on hand and I didn't feel like spending the, the money to do that this year. Uh, so I kind of started doing this method. And what I did is I put my, planted my plants Stuck my pole in there. If you can see this little black string right here, uh, as this plant's growing, I'm tying it up closer to the pole, making it stand up straight. And it's gonna continue to grow. It's not gonna fall over and break and get weak. Uh, so what I'm using is this elastic band. You can pick this up off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box. But this is like 300 foot for like 10 bucks or something like that very inexpensive and all I'm doing is let me cut a piece off all I'm doing is cutting a little piece and as if you can see this tomato plant is kind of trying to fall over now and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come here and as this plant grows I'm just going to pull it back to the stake I'm going to tie a little bit of a knot in that string but I'm leaving a lot of room right here I can't really see because the leaf I made a pretty big loop so this plant can move that elastic band lets it move this pole's letting it move and the plant's not going to break so i mean as the wind blows or anything hits this thing it's not real stiff because of the band and the pole and it's working out real well for us so far uh, another thing we're doing is these leaves at the bottom any leaf that touches the ground i'm going to cut off and so i'm going to just leave that on the ground but if those leaves are hitting the ground, it, it just opens up so many opportunities for pests and um, things like powdery mildew and blight. And it just makes a healthier plant. And so if I was to single stem these, these plants, basically as this plant grows up taller, I'd be cutting off every lower limb. Uh, I don't want to quite do that drastically. It's just any plant, any leaf that is going to touch the ground, I'll go ahead and cut off. I'm going to take you down this row and, and show you our tomato plants and how they're growing in this method. I think it's working really well. It is kind of time consuming to come out here and, and uh, trim these plants and, and tie them up. But I think it's going to really pay off in the end. And like I said, we don't have to put in a bunch of money for tomato baskets. And hopefully this method works and it's something that we'll be using in the future. Let me take you down the road and show you our tomato plants. They're doing great this year. So please ignore all my weeds in this garden. I have got to do some... You gotta spend some time in here with a hoe and get it cleaned up. So this is a prime example of what we're trying to correct here and growing these, these tomato plants on this bean pole. 
Uh, so basically you see how this plant's just kind of starting to fall over or lean a little bit. And you can see our um, last tie was right here. And so now it's time to go up in here and tie it up again. Because if this plant sets fruit, the weight of that fruit is probably going to pull this plant on over. So we're just going to take a string and we'll tie it up. And this plant will continue to grow up. And over here on the side, we might end up having to come in here and loosely tie this one up. It'd probably be a whole lot bigger string. Um, but it's starting to set up on fruit, but that's on this, this branch. So we don't really have to worry about it yet. But that's what we'll do here. Instead of the single stem stemming method, I would come in here and cut this one off. And we're just left with one stem going up. Uh, but I, I kind of want a little more production out of this plant. So we'll tie that up as well. And here's a kind of an example of what I'd cut off. You see how this plant's kind of getting close to the ground. Uh, you can see a couple spots in that in those leaves. Where if you come on up, you're not going to find those, leaf, those spots. Because it's closer to the ground, the more issue you have with pests. Uh, so that's kind of it. So that's how we're growing our tomato plants, uh, at least down here in this garden. I do have several more in my garden at my house uh, in, in cages, and they're doing well. We're going to start producing tomatoes this, this week. I think we're going to pick our first one. But I hope you enjoyed this little short video. I hope it helps you out if you're looking on looking at new ways to grow tomatoes. Um, I'm kind of enjoying this method. I, I think it's going to work out for us, and I think it's something we're going to be using in the future. Uh, I really appreciate you all hanging out with us. Uh, like I said, happy Memorial Day. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it'll really help us out. And also leave us a comment if, uh, if you learned something or if you got any other ideas, leave them down in the comments so um, other people can see them and maybe they'll learn something from you. So I really appreciate you hanging out with us and y'all take care and we'll see y'all on the next one. Mm -hmm.